truth shall make you free. You see, the truth is that you're going to find out that nobody keeping you but you. It's your idea of what you want and what God wants that you battling. Right, right, right. That's it. That's it right there. That is it right there. Yes. You cry to people, oh yeah, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, and I'm going through this. No, no, baby, it's you, it's you, it's you. Come on, it's you, it's you, baby. Make a choice, it's you. Because we, we're talking to grown folks today, and I'm letting God have his way. Baby, it's you, and nobody keeping you, nobody holding you, it's you. While God is waiting for you to make a choice, that's why he told Joshua, choose you this day who you're going to serve. Make up your mind. Make up your mind what you want and the way you want it and how God is going to do things in your life. Because guess what happened? In 2015, you can't sit up in the church no more and make excuses of what, what people did to you and how they did it. You need to look yourself in the mirror. Michael Jackson said, look yourself in the mirror. Look in the man in the mirror and make a change. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Nobody won't keep you. Nobody holds you. You hold it yourself. You keep it yourself. And you can come, oh, it's a demon. It's a um, generational demon. Baby, it's no generational demon. It's you. <laughs> What's keeping you? What's holding you? We know that there's going to be a fight. We know the enemy don't want you to be free. Amen. The thing about the enemy, he has so much conditioning you that he knows he can let you go and you know he's going to come back. Amen. There's a thing that says when a person kidnaps a person, they begin to sympathize with the yeah, kidnapper. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. You begin to sympathize with, well, you know, that's just the way they are. You know, their mama treated them bad when they were young. That's why they slapped me. I'm fixing it in his head. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? We begin to sympathize with the abusers of our lives. We begin to say, you know, it's not their fault. It's my fault. And that lets you know that there's a manipulating spirit because you, you don't ever want to see the truth of what things are. You don't want to see. Anytime you make excuses for people, there's some kind of control there. Okay. Some of us make excuses for the enemy. We, we make excuses for the enemy. We make excuses why we in the things that we are in. We make excuses for everything else. But guess what? In 2015, we got to come to a place where we can no longer make excuses and look at things as, as is and begin to see God and say, God, if there's any going to be changes, changes got to be first done in me before it can be done with everybody else. Amen. Can I tell you something? Stop trying to change your enemy. Fowl ain't gonna change. All right. Well, Fowl ain't changing. I know that. I prayed. I fasted. I understand, baby. But Fowl ain't changing. I prayed. Just because you have a word with Fowl, his attitude, his mindset doesn't mean Fowl never probably is the way he is. Pharaoh don't have a problem the way he is. You got a problem with Pharaoh. Pharaoh's fine. It's fine doing the same thing. Yeah. So guess what? You you need to understand this that in in the wisdom of God in 2015, you can you gotta walk in the light. What is walking in the light? Walking in the light is walking in the truth of God now. Walking in his word. What you see, there come a place when you grow up. I don't want to be baby no more. All right. I want a real talk. I want somebody to talk to me real. Give it to me real. Because at the end of the day, see, anybody can tell me lies. Anybody can tell me. I want it to be seen for what it is so I can make a decision. My thing is that if you decide to be any, don't cry about it. All right. Well. Don't cry about it. Because why? God has all power to set you free if you want to be free. Amen. God has all power. I don't care what the habit is. I don't care what the stronghold is. I don't care what the trial is. I don't care if it's weed smoking, drinking, alcohol, whatever the thing is that's trying to hold you captive. If you decide to be free, God will set you free. But in the midst of the freedom, understand there's going to be a battle. There's going to be a fight. See, the thing about it, you want to be free without the fight. <laughs> You can't be free without the fight. There will 
be fighting, there will be warfare, there's going to be uh, arrows being shot, out. Yeah. truth yeah. come out, yeah. right. oh you don't know when things are breaking up, that's when people begin to tell the truth about right. you, gotta hit it your nose, I hit it. <laughs> church for somebody to lie to them. It's okay to be enough, baby. It's not okay. If you want to change, change. You can come here. You can lay down on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a you know, shut in. Lay down in the shut in. You can lay down in prayer. You can do all those things you want to do. But after you get up from the shut in and after you pray for eight hours, you still got to make up your mind. That's right. That's right. I'm sorry, but you're still going to make up your mind, and you're still going to understand that, that, you know what, God has given me power, and guess what, God ain't going to do something unless you make up your mind. Right. You got to make up your mind. You got to make a choice. I'm tired of this. Uh -huh. I'm tired of the way things are. Can I tell you something? If you decide, no devil in hell can stop you, because there's, there's a power that comes with a made up mind. Right. When your mind is made up, there was a young man, right? The young man that was in a place that, that you know that got his inheritance, and he went away, and he began to eat the pigs, yeah. you know, with the pigs and stuff. And he said, "I said to myself, yeah. Yeah. sometimes you gotta talk to yourself <laughs> before anybody can." I, and he said, "I said to myself, self, why I stay here? You got to your daddy over here. Why don't you go to your daddy's house?" Sometimes you need to have, can I tell you something? See, the enemy had your mind so busy so you won't think. Right. Mm. That's right. The enemy has you thinking. Come on. The minute you begin to think, hold on. Hold on. That don't make no sense up there. Something run right. Huh? Something run right. OC, I'm going to tell that story, man. You won't give no names. There's a friend that OC has. Right? And his wife, every week, have him pay rent. She comes in every day. She said, rent is due today. And then, and then you know, one day, oh, she said, hold on, brother. Let's write down the date. What's the date? Tuesday, Friday. Okay, let's write it down. Next week, he come. You know, O.C. said to him, let's go out. Then he said, O.C., I can't. O.C. said, why? He said, because I got to pay rent. He said, hold up, brother. You pay rent. Right. You pay rent. He said, let me see. He said, she lying to me, man. She lying to me. She must be doing something. He said, lying to me. And then she went home. You know, he got on the phone. You lied to me. Every week I'm paying rent. He said, who you been talking to? O.C.? He telling you stuff. <laughs> Right. 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 When God frees you, he's in a person. Mm. 
church. When God wanted to free the children of Israel, he said to Moses, who's the Moses of your life that God had brought to you? Have you moved Moses out of your life? Well, Who's the voice of God in your life? Come to set you free and you reject and you keep closing the door and you keep saying, I don't, you keep listening to power instead of listening to the voice of Moses. When God begins to set you free, he connects you to a person, connects you to a man, connects you to a woman, connects you to a voice of God. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The abuser wants to silence the voice of God in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I'm feeling, yeah. I, I, I'm, this is not my message today. I'm just letting God flow. Amen. The abuser do not want you to hear the voice of God. He will talk that person down. Just especially if it's a girlfriend. Yes. Huh. It's an honor. And don't talk about, uh, about them too much either. <laughs> because it threatens the abuser. Yeah. Because if you talk about them, it lets you know there's another voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's competition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to talk. There, 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 there is a competition that what? Why are you talking about her so? If it's a woman, mm. what? Why are you talking about her so much? Mm. What? If it's a man, what are you talking about him for? <laughs> Every time we're talking about him, who is he? He your man? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Why does the enemy do that? He'll do that so you can back off. That's it. You keep your mouth If you back off, he, you won't be able to hear the voice of God to that Moses connection for you to be free. Yeah, so anything too close to you, one of the aspects of the enemy say, nobody's here for you but me. That's right. Yeah, that's what I'm here to They begin to down the church you go in. Abusers will down the church. Why you go to that church for? Why you go so much? Why you going over that for? Oh, it's a cult. All of a sudden, it's a cult. Let me ask you a question. Why is it they never call the club a cult when they live there every Friday and Saturday? Giving it positive. Giving positive for interest. <laughs> We're going somewhere today and letting the Holy Spirit have his way. Amen. Let him have his way. Amen. Because in 2015, you can't go to the same place you used to go. Right. And there's some haters everywhere. There's haters in the church too. Amen. You get too close to Pastor Brother. You, you, know, you, you, know, you, you, you know, you're kissing up. <laughs> and then they tell you they're kissing up and you see them as close as possible. <laughs> Because if truth come to my ears, I'll be able to analyze something and have another choice. Yeah. First thing the enemy will tell you is this, you don't got a choice. Yeah. Well, of course you would. That's it. You don't got a choice. You don't got a choice. If you can't leave, you don't have one. Anything you can't walk away from controls you. Anything you can't get.
give up for God is your God. Who's your Pharaoh? Anything you're willing to be dis disobedient for, for God, against God, that's your God. That's your Lord. That's your Savior. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's your God. Anything that you willing to jeopardize what God says to keep mm. is your God. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's your God. I know God said this, but it's your God. That's what you worship. And that's one of the reasons we can't walk into the blessing. We, we cannot flow into the blessing until we come into the place of excluding our God. Our worship. Oh, you worship. You worship Jimmy with his big belly and everything else. You worship him. You give him glory. You want to open up your mouth in church, but you should open up your mouth and give him glory. Let Jimmy uh, 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 leave. You see yourself crying on the floor, but you don't cry on the floor when you just come to the church house. Ooh, right. Go ahead, man. You show no emotions when Go ahead, man. you come into the church house. You want to open up your mouth in the church, but he trying to leave you crying. You show an emotion. <laughs> show that some emotion to God. I saw something on Facebook. He said, you check your man's phone, but you won't check your kid's homework. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You feed a man that ain't yours, you take care of a man that ain't yours, and you leave your kid without. Something wrong with that. Especially somebody who got no covenant. He wears the clothes your kid's supposed to wear. She ever had things your kid. Let me tell you, unless you have a covenant, baby. No, unless you, uh -huh. If you don't have a covenant, you're in first. And even if you do have a covenant, and if, if I put you first, you gotta put them first. I'll put you first when you just put them first. Kids all scrambled up, and he looking all good. So I have some trouble. We talking about being free today. Walking in the freedom. He said, I saw you little early. I got time to preach today. Take my time to preach today. Because guess what happened? You, we do all these things. And I'm talking to the married woman, the single woman. Put a man first. That stands your man. And you won't put him before your kids. You better stay and take care of your kids. You better take care of them. Close them and do whatever. You buy him a shirt. For what? Then buy his own shirt. Buy his own stuff. Take care of your kids. That's right. And first, Because you know what? In the church of God, we're talking about these things because most of us put our kids last before men. And we put them before God, too. You understand know what I'm saying? Feed them, but you don't feed your kids. Right. Poor kids are suffering and going through all kinds of stuff. And you sitting here, well, I'm a woman of God, I'm a man of God, the devil is alive. And you say, God, won't you send me a man? Well, get rid of the bad one you've got. You understand what I'm saying to you? If we're going to walk in the blessing of God, we're going to walk in the goodness of God, we got to do it right. We got to do this thing right. If you want to walk in a liberty now, but we walk in liberty, and let me tell you something, even if you are married, and if you're not putting God first, your kids, we got to rethink it. Amen. That's right. Amen. My time.